Hee <laughs> hee. Little do you know, I am flying atop one of my interviewees right now. Oh. <laughs> Such a pretty city, too. It is. I, I like what they've done with Stormwind and Orgrimmar a lot since Cataclysm. <laughs> All right, well, let's get on with this. Hello, I am Malor, and I am on Nessingwary server. Hi, I'm Jason, and I'm on the Nessingwary realm. Good morning, YouTube. This is another MMO Anthropology, and I'm bringing you to the Nessingwary server with Manalaur and Manahowl from, well, the same guild as you can see, the Knights of Gilneas. And I'm here to ask both of them about their experience, yes, hee <laughs> hee, waving, excellent, hunting the time lost proto drink. Has brought you here to me. No doubt. And among other extremely strange creatures. So we're going to start with uh, Manahowl. Hi. Can you tell us about the experience of trying to get this uh, particularly elusive creature, since I know that you're one hell of a hunter, which is why I rolled one, you know, wolf. Yeah. Well, it started out a long time ago when I just, I wanted to get some kind of cool mount that wasn't the, you know, the typical bronze drake sort of thing, and I kind of poked around Wowhead, and I saw how many were based on, like, great huge meta achieves and stuff like that, and I'm like, okay and what are my other options and they're like oh yeah there's this thing called the time lost proto drake it hangs around storm peaks and if you kill it it drops them out every time hey, can you pull it out for us sure yeah we both can actually go for it uh, two huge dragons now how how difficult is it to find this particular critter um kind of like a Needle in a haystack in a, a hayfield. Oh, why is that? Is it? Is it? I mean, I it's said it's extremely rare, and it has a particular flight path. It's got four spawn points. It's got four different paths it takes. It can spawn at any time. It's kind of a rare spawn of a rare spawn. Huh. Like most of the time, you'll see a critter called Viragosa, which is just a big blue dragon flying around storm peaks if you'd see anything and just about anybody that would you see in storm peaks probably knows what the time lost proto drake is so as soon as they see it they're gonna kill it and get it so there's a so, great deal of competition for it yeah have mm -hmm. you seen like if you were to do a uh, a slash who the storm peaks right now uh, you're gonna see now Storm Peaks is an area from like level 78 to level 80. So if you see people over level 80 in there, they're probably in there looking for time loss. <laughs> right now you've got an 81 Warlock, an 85 Death Knight, and an 85 Hunter. Yep. And this is just on Alliance side. There's also like a couple guys Horde side. There's this one guy I found that he was doing the same thing I was basically just like trying to fill out all his tunes with the thing and and yeah so and I decided at some point that I I think I was casually looking for it at one point and I ended up picking it up on my hunter when it was actually a horde tune on another server like I think like over a year ago. and then I ended up eventually getting it on my death knight and then at some point, um, we decided to start camping it, like, real heavily. Mm -hmm. And we would sit at, like, right on the spawn points, me and Meg here, um, uh, for, like, days. You know, so, like, we would both camp a spot. So you were pretty much, were you, like, tag team camping it, or both of you sitting on the same place? I don't know, both of us... Well, one of us would be on one spawn point, and the other would be on another spawn point, because there's four different spawn points, and and so after time, we eventually got one on each of our 85s, and then Meg started bringing up another tune, and 
her tune that she was leveling. She we eventually got one on that, and um, at some point I decided, well, because uh, on YouTube there's a couple of videos of shows where the thing actually spawns. Mm -hmm. There was two videos some German guy did where it spawned at like the frozen lake, which is like. Well, they call it the Frozen Lake, but it's basically the central area where most people are found camping in Storm Peaks, which is around this little hub area. Kind of hard to really show you without a map, but uh, and then uh, he also made a video of it spawning over around the Ulduar spawn point. But th those were the only two videos of it spawning, so I thought like I should get a video of it spawning. Oh yeah, you know so. You'll have to send Sorry. me the, the link to that. If it's up on YouTube, I can put it in the uh, notes for this uh, video. Yeah, I, I actually made two videos. I made one of it spawning over at the uh, the waterfall. And then the one that took the longest, though, was <clears throat> the one at the Brunhildar spawn point. We actually sat there for almost two months. Oh, wow. You know, <clears throat> I was recording there almost 24 down near 24 7 and you know it kind of and you know say a couple hours of uh fraps even at like the low frame rate i was running still ate up like 150 gigs at a holy time. crap <laughs> yeah and so basically it'd be like i would set it up i would start it going i'd you know and say i'd come home from work i'd turn on my monitor and see if npc scan had popped and you know, if it had, I'd look through all my little videos and try to find one that caught something. Most of the time, if it caught anything, it's like fear of ghosts of spawning. And so, got a couple of videos of that. But at, eventually, at some point, we got a video of, of uh, time loss spawning and put that up. And that was actually when Meg got her last one. Oh, well, uh, so. Uh, Manilaur, can you tell us uh, about, I mean, how many characters between both of you have gotten the Time Lost Protoglet Drake now? Um, right off the top of my head, I would think maybe, I think between the two of us, I want to say eight. Actually, we have ten of them. <laughs> That's quite considerable. Ah, okay. How, how long has That's that taken? Enough. <laughs> uh, months. Um, <laughs> I want to say we pretty much started this, like, Grand Crusade to get our time loss on all our 85s, you know, as, as they come, of mm -hmm. course, since about, like, really late summer of last year. And some of them have been really quick acquisitions, and some of them, as, you know, Jason was just saying, uh, some of them have not been very <laughs> quick. I mean, my mage, which was my last one that got the time lost, took about two months, just about, and um, the one before that, my hunter... Uh, he took well over a month, and then before that was my shaman, and that took about a month even. So, as I understand it, both of you ha must have hunter characters, especially if uh, Manilaur has one. Does that mean that because in the same region as the Time Lost Protodrake, other rares spawn? Does that mean that you went and grabbed them yourselves as well? Um, what we had heard through, we, we go to this one website, uh, tlpdresource.com, and some of the theories are that in Northrend, there's a maximum number of rares that can be in Northrend at any point in time. So, the theory is, if you go around and kill all of them, you increase, you theoretically increase the spawn rate of everything. So, like, ever for, like, those couple months where we were waiting for the last one, I would go through all of Northrend in the morning and kill every single rare I would oh. find. Like, yeah, so, and like, you know, the first couple times I tried to find homes for, like, the Loke, and I found a home the first time. The second time I started asking around, and it seems like nobody really gives a damn about it anymore. And I think I've killed that thing, like, at least ten times. <laughs> and just, you know... And it's a real... It's, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful pets you can yeah. have, you know? Oh, I've but got one. I... Yeah. And, you know, yours took, like, a hundred hours a day to yes. get. You know? But I... 
you know, what was it like one week I ran into it like four every, days every in a morning. Row. It was every morning we were finding it. <laughs> yeah. And I got to where I just, I'm like, I don't give a crap. I'm just going to run up and then kill it and jump off and go kill the other yeah. things. You know? Well, um, as a so. final question, uh, what what about the experience of like trying to get the the time last proto Drake on all of your characters? Uh, um, do you you resonate with the most? Obviously, you spent a lot of time and energy going at it. So uh, this one's for let's start with Mana Howl. Can you tell us about like what what you got out of it aside from you know this really neat mount? Um, I got a well, I thought I could get a better understanding of you know how often it spawns and all that other stuff and maybe I could help more people with getting it and you know I pointed a lot of people to that website where I've been frequently frequenting a lot and posting up a lot of info and um, it's kind of made me realize that what you know what we've been doing has been a gigantic cool. waste of time and if I spent this much time like actually gearing up or whatever I you know I could have some pretty geared out characters and you know if I spent that time maybe raiding or something then I don't know I might have had more fun with it but you know we you know we just set out to do it and we're like well we're gonna you know we got it on these tunes we might as well get them on all of them and and then I was like kind of frustrated that they're wasn't any videos of the thing spawning and there's all these people going like well I think it spawns over here and you know there's just a whole lot of you know hearsay and I'm like alright fine we're gonna have spawn videos for every <laughs> spawn point and and it, it also saw how things changed mm -hmm. with it like um, with the first videos that were taken by the German guy when the thing would spawn, it would sit there for like five seconds just flapping and then it would take off. With the ones I took, it just straight spawned and was booking. <laughs> and for a little while, if you were right on top of where it spawned, it would instantly oh. aggro you. Yeah, so it would be, you know, it would spawn, it would start beating on you and then, you know, say if you just left your tune there and went, you know, hit the can or got a drink or something came back it would be there attacking you and you'd be, have a chance to go oh crap and then kill it and get your thing but now it spawns and ignores you and it just <laughs> keeps going nice so yeah. you did so you so managed to join not just you know get this mount on all your pets but you kind of joined into the community who uh, and essentially you know build sightings for these critters and stuff like that yeah awesome mm -hmm. well um same question for you, uh, Matt Allauer. How how has the experience been collecting this uh, particularly extremely rare element of the game for all your critters? Well, it's definitely been a it's been an experience on why Time Lost Proto Drake has the name that it has. Because <laughs> it loses time. <laughs> um, oh yeah, it causes me to lose a wow. lot of time. Um, which which is fine because for how much I really enjoy just the look of this mount, I mean it's totally worth it to me. Um, it's I will say it's very easy to get it on say PVE server tunes because there's nobody running up to you and instantly one shotting you with their PVP. And this gear. one's a PVP server. Um, just to be clear to the audience. Um, no, this server. Uh, okay, is so PVE. you've also gotten it on a PVP server. Um, uh, Manahal has, but sadly I haven't yet, although I do have two, um, level 80 plus tunes that I'm looking to transfer away from their PvP servers, that because they're such low population right now, um, I kind of camp it on those in my <laughs> spare time, but not very much. So you're looking um, forward to transferring those tunes and then camping it on a PvE server instead? Yeah... Probably not for a while still, even after I transfer them, considering how long it took on my mage. <laughs> and probably out of all the tunes that I've gotten it on so far, I would have to say this tune and my mage, um, I would have to say those are probably both the most rewarding ones because, well, this one in particular because it was the only one I was actually sitting there for and I actually saw it spawn and was able to nice. down it myself. 
Well, uh, that's all the time I've got for an interview right now. But let me line myself up right here. Line up. Oh, there we go. Nice shot. Say goodbye to everyone on YouTube. It's been fun. Both of you say bye. Awesome. Never forget. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone, for watching. This has been another MMO Anthropology with uh, Manalur and Manahowl on the Nessingwary server. And good night and good dreams. Stick around for more.